Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. These two cards fell together. So the first card is uh, the tree card and this is about the three of rods. Uh, you know, you might be actually um, traveling, moving home, uh, relocating uh, to do whatever job you are doing. So you are working with a group of people over there uh, and you know, you're you're working maybe with a company that has been very well established. You know, it's almost like there's uh, this f um, feeling of a family atmosphere going on in that particular company. So, you know, you work pretty well together. Your job might involve a lot of travel, uh, but you are also putting down roots, laying foundations. Uh, with the tree card, it's about, you know, um, growth that is going on. So there's a lot of scope for uh, advancement in that particular company that you're working for at this particular moment. There might be some good news coming in over here and it's with regards to money or it could be with regards to your a new job. You've got the uh, Jack of Diamonds over here which is about you know working on that career moving forward. So maybe you're a bit stuck in your particular career but now news coming forward for you to be able to get through obstacles, get through hurdles and move forward. So this is some good news coming in there with a the rider card. Uh, you've got that six of hearts over there so there is definitely an offer coming in over there there might be a home move so you might actually be getting a promotion or you might be getting some kind of offer coming in over there uh, for you to actually relocate or move on you've got that brighter energy over there so this is about moving forward in your career or advancement and that seems to be coming in and like I said you might actually be getting uh, an offer where you have to relocate or move home um, there's some kind of offer coming in you might even be thinking about buying a new home as well with this particular card uh, so there could be that chance about you buying a new family home over there and maybe this is the good news that you're getting coming in now in the past you've got that snake card over there so dealing with a lot of toxic people a lot of uh, uh, rivals people going behind your back and uh, you know saying a lot of nasty things over there uh, you know and they were you know it was really about malicious gossip that was going on behind your back now there seems to have been somebody around you you've got the dog card over there this is about faithful friends uh, you know somebody around there that's giving you that kind of support uh, giving you that stability as well so there's somebody at your work who you've been relying on quite a bit they're very very trustworthy and you know they're somebody that's been watching your back so you've been dealing with very, very difficult people, but somebody is there watching your back. They're, you know, they are defending you. So they are standing up for you there. Now, going into the future, you've got that lion. Now, the lion usually says sudden, shocking news that comes in generally. Uh, and it's to do with either spending or receiving money over there. So you've got that six of diamonds over there, which is like the six of pentacles. So it's either you, um, you know, spending too much of money and you get some news that you, you've, you've uh, incurred some kind of bill. Or you've been lending somebody money and, you know, maybe you'll hear some news about them. But it's something with regards to you either borrowing money or needing, uh, you know, to get... Uh, maybe you needing to get some kind of loan or some kind of financial assistance and you get some shocking news about that or you've been lending somebody money and you get some shocking news coming about that but it's something unpleasant and it's got to do with uh, borrowing or lending money there uh, you've got that uh, i card this is about using your intuition trusting your gut instinct but this is also this is the four of uh, so, um, spades which is like the four of swords uh, which is about dealing with conflicted situations but needing to step back out of the situation and come up with a new strategy so you know you've got to rely on your own uh, experience itself to get um to take care of whatever the situation is so there might be some shocking news coming in you need to act but you need to actually come up with a plan a strategy maybe get some advice on how to deal with that particular situation and the final card is uh you've got the park card over here so you do need to go and uh, seek out some advice. You might need to go onto the internet, or you might need to collaborate with some people to get some advice uh, on how to deal with whatever this news is with regards to money. So there's some kind of news coming in over there that you do need to sort out. It's some kind of problem that is coming in and you will need to actually get some um, advice, uh, consult some people or consult, a, you know, do research uh, in order for you to sort it out. Uh, you need to hang in there. Whatever this problem is, rely on yourself. You, you're pretty good with handling uh, whatever this... You will be pretty good at handling it. Uh, you've got the insight. You definitely have the information to deal with it. But you will need to get some kind of advice as well just to top up yours, uh, your information. And uh, you will need to consult a few people before you actually make a decision about what to do next. So there is some kind of news coming in. Uh, just be aware. And it's going to require you to do some research to sort that out. 
but for the moment, it looks like you might be buying a new home. Um, you know, there could even be an offer for a new job coming in over there with that six of cups. But it looks like you might be buying a new family home, setting up roots or, uh, you know, setting up um, uh, yourself in this particular new home. There is that good news coming in about that. And you're going to be able to move forward. Uh, there could be this new offer coming in. It could be an offer for promotion in this in a company that allows you to you know establish yourself as well. So there could be some good news coming in with regards to money and your work as well. So that's also a possibility. So those are the energies for that week. Okay. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Sorceress Tarot for the main read. Okay, so you've got the Five of Pentacles over here, and this is about, you know, financial loss, feeling very stuck in a particular position. You can see this woman's hanging by her hands, and she's nude, uh, you know, she's barely covered over here. So something is making you feel very vulnerable, uh, you're almost put on the spot about something, you are, uh, you know, at a loss about what to do, your hands, your hands are tied. It doesn't seem like you can actually do anything at this particular moment, and there's that element of financial loss going on over there. Uh, and also feeling very unsupported, very isolated as well. You know, almost as though you're left hanging there. Uh, so you're having to give up a lot of things. This is almost like a sacrifice position. You're having to sacrifice a lot of things uh, in order to, um, uh, you know, make up for the loss that is going on. So there's some financial problems that are going on with you, and you are uh, feeling very, very uh, stuck and feeling very uh, disempowered. You don't really know what to do to get out of it. You've got the Four of Pentacles over here, and you've got the Devil card over here. Now, the Four of Pentacles over there is about uh, trying to, t uh, to hang on to that money. You are trying to, uh, to uh, you know, prevent that loss, trying to prevent that spending. Uh, you, you're, you're doing some kind of research of some sort to try and get ideas on how to, uh, to save. you. So you are uh, trying not to get your hands into your savings, uh, but it looks like whatever this particular uh, scenario that has happened, you've got the devil uh, coming over there, uh, it might have been, uh, you know, because maybe you were manipulated in the situation, but whatever it is, it's, it's a very negative situation that has happened. Um, you know, this could be an addiction that is causing you to lose finances over here uh, that is eating away at your finances some kind of addiction you might be you know it doesn't necessarily mean drugs it could be just overspending um, you know on buying shoes or even you know just purchasing things but there's something that has come in it's almost coming across as being some kind of addiction uh, that you are overspending on so there's something that you need to curb your spending on you need to actually cut it nip it in the bud because it's eating away at your finances and it is causing that kind of financial loss. Somebody's been trying to tell you about it because you've got that four of cups over here. So somebody's been offering some advice, uh, but it looks like you've got your hands over your ears over here and you don't want to hear what they've got to say. So this is some kind of an addiction that you have, uh, maybe, you know, over shopping, overspending in some kind of way that is causing this financial loss. And you need to get this under control because it's coming across as being the devil. It's being, you know, it's, it's almost taking over your life. So there's some kind of financial situation that you do need to look into uh, because you're getting that loss going on. And even though you're hanging on to those finances, it seems like, you know, uh, it's, it's ebbing away there. So, so you need to actually do an, a good financial review over there um, and, and, and look into what you're spending on there. Now, you've got the Eight of Pentacles over here, so this is in the past. You've been working pretty hard at your job, so you've been studying and working in the past, and this is how you've been accumulating your finances. So, pretty organized, pretty much focused on your work. Uh, but for the fact that you're overspending, I think this is, you know, you, whatever you're working with, working on, you are accumulating not only um, knowledge, uh, you're not only being practical and, you know, you're, whatever you're doing is a very highly skilled job. So you might be specializing in that field that you're doing. <coughs> you can see this person <coughs> has a lot of protractors and, and you know, um, things to draw circles with. Uh, so a very specialized kind of work, maybe very intellectual kind of work, something very mathematical as well. Um, and, you know, you've got that bats over there talking about spending a, long, a lot of time, uh, late hours, you know, working days and nights. Um, doing this particular job. So you're very, very focused on this job. 
it seems like uh, you know you you're taking this project you might be heading this project you got this page of rods over here so working on this new project that you had and putting a lot of effort and energy and taking charge and control of it so you are pretty much uh, focused on whatever your work is and you're working pretty hard at it you might be doing a lot of travel as well with this new job that you're doing now, you are trying to sort out some very, very difficult people. You've got this crocodile over here and this man trying to, uh, this is the strength card, using a lot of energy and effort to try and get the situation in control. So you are dealing with a lot of negative people. They've got a lot to say, a lot of nasty things to say, and you are trying to use your truth to sort out or take control of that situation. Uh, you know, they have caused a lot of upset, a lot of crying on your, uh, you know, for you. It looks like, you know, they're preventing you from manifesting whatever you want to. So there, there's a lot of toxicity that you're dealing with. This devil card is also showing uh, the toxicity of the people that you're dealing with. Maybe this job in itself is very, uh, you know, uh, time-consuming. It takes up so much of your effort, uh, you know, your energy, uh, and you don't have much time for yourself, um, you know. So this could well be the case. So going on into the future, you've got the... Um, wheel of fortune coming over here so things are about to change uh, so uh, you know you need to um, there might be an opportunity for study coming in here as well so you are studying at the moment but there's some kind of new opportunity coming there's something that is going to change uh, your status as well so something that you have been working on because this man is manifesting from the wheel you can see he's got his hands pointed to the wheel so he's definitely manifesting uh, so this is what you have been working on and this looks like it's you know whatever you're working on or whatever you've worked on is going to be the thing that changes your luck or changes the way uh, your pathway and changes the way things move forward and there's a lot of abundance that you know is going to be coming in you can see there's a lot of trees and grass over here so whatever you've been working with and working on and being very very hands-on is going to be producing that abundance coming in now you've got the nine of pentacles so you are you know you are working pretty independently pretty much in charge the money is coming in over there so you know whatever this addiction is that is causing you to have this feeling of financial loss or you know feeling as though uh, you know you're uh, you know you're overspending or you, you're going um, you know you're you're, you're um, using up your resources too much. You're trying to cling to it there with that four of pentacles, but it's still that loss going on. And yet, you know, what's going on with you is that you have financial independence. You're earning sufficient money at this moment. Um, you know, you can afford all the things of luxury over here uh, and sit back and enjoy it. So whatever this addiction is, you need to cut it out of your life um, in order for you to enjoy this uh, all that you have worked for now the nine of cups is usually that card of satisfaction but the nine of pentacles is usually about getting everything that you want financially but working too hard or being too focused on finance or acquiring of it then sitting back and enjoying the luxuries that come with it so that's what you need to do like you know she needs to appreciate this beautiful dress that she's wearing rather than just thinking about how she's going to get the money to buy the dress so this is the thing you need to actually sit back and learn how to relax and enjoy the wealth that you have accumulated and not spend it or, or give it away uh, you know uh, frivolously uh, on on some kind of addiction or overspending it on things that you know are not going to bring you joy so you need to rethink or decide what is important for you decide your worth or your value of your money really <coughs> You've got the Knight of Rods over here. So this is about travel. So there might be, uh, you know, you might be getting a promotion because this is, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is about getting something that you really want. So there might be a new promotion coming in that is going to allow you to travel, uh, do worldwide travel. So international travel, dealing with a lot of um, uh, foreign people. This is the card. The Knight of uh, Rods is usually a card about action. It's about, you know, being faced with something and making a decision pretty quickly and being on the move, on the go. So this is what it looks like, the energy of movement coming in for you. So you might be doing some traveling soon. It looks like this Wheel of Fortune is, might be taking you to see the world, really, and meet a lot more people. And you're going to do this by yourself and through your work because there's a lot of independence there coming in. So you got the page of uh, uh, pentacles over here. So you had been trying to manifest over this, uh, manifest this. So this could be a new job. This could be a new promotion. And you're hoping new money comes in over there. You're certainly doing a financial assessment over there. You are seem to you seem to be weighing up your options as well and deciding what you want to do next uh, with this page of pentacles over there. So you're thinking quite. 
um, you know, deeply about what you want to do. And maybe you're reaching some kind of crossroads in your life where you want to make some kind of big decision. That is why that Wheel of Fortune is coming in to shift you out of whatever energies it, um, you're going through at the moment. This devil could even imply that you're pretty much bored with whatever you're doing right now and you want to move on. Hence the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, going into the future and final outcome, you've got that Two of Swords over here, you've got the Nine of Cups there, and you've got that Four of uh, uh, Swords. So the Two of Swords is trying to make a decision. So information is coming to you. You haven't seen it yet, so something that you haven't seen, but it looks like you're going to be turning your back on your present situation and making a decision to move forward. You need to be very logical when you're making this particular decision. You need to consider all your options and do your research. That owl is indicating there is something that you need to uh, learn or something needs to come to light, some information needs to come to light before you make that decision to move on. So don't be rash. Make sure you're very, very calm, cool, collected, and taking it, making a very practical decision. You've got the Nine of Cups. So whatever this decision is, you know, this is about further learning and further study as well. There's somebody around you giving you some advice as well. But the Nine of Cups is a card of uh, wish fulfillment. It is the card of satisfaction. So whatever decision you make, whatever movement you make out of it, it's going to bring you a lot more fulfillment. So, you know, it's going to take you out of this devil energy where you're feeling bored and distracted and... Um, you know, they say the idle mind is the devil's workshop. So, uh, in other words, uh, you know, you look for things to do or to spend your time on that are frivolous rather than, you know, if you find your true path and you in get enjoyment from it, you will, um, you know, do something that makes you happy and it will be worth your while. Um, so, there is somebody around you giving you some kind of advice, some kind of counseling, but it looks like that wish fulfillment card is coming up once you make that decision to move out of this particular situation. It looks like, you know, you have been very, very stressed out recently. Uh, maybe you have been, you know, uh, uh, spending some time studying or learning. But it looks like you do need a little bit of a holiday and a little bit of a break with this Four of Swords. Uh, a time, some downtime. You need to get out of, uh, you know, the rat race of things. You need to take some rest. And if you're going through any physical or any kind of stress-related uh, problems, you need to take some time out and do some healing. Uh, so you can see this little girl going to bed. So it looks like you do need to get some, some rest, um, get some sleep. And like I said, uh, there might be some further study that you n might need to do. So while you're taking your rest, uh, you know, you might need to catch up on your reading or catch up on some, something that gets your skills, uh, you know, up to date a little bit. Uh, so you do need to take a little bit of a break from, from whatever all the stresses are that you have been dealing with. So big decisions are coming up on how you're going to move forward. You are getting that advice and whatever you're going to do next is going to be very satisfactory for you. And you can see there's books in both these cards, so there's some learning that is coming in over there. You do need some kind of a break, some kind of a rest, or uh, you, know, you need to get out of that situation in order for you to uh, rejuvenate, to heal. But things are about to change. The Wheel of Fortune is about to come in. This card has fallen out. And... Um, I'm drawing cards from Fairy Tarot. So you've got that Two of Spring over here, which says a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with somebody who shares your dreams, great progress being made. So a partnership is coming in, some advice coming in over there. And you can even see with that um, Nine of Cups, there's some kind of partnership coming in. So this is going to be a really good friendship, or this could be a, good, really, a really good uh, business partnership coming in over here. Uh, and you'll be able to work pretty well with this person. And whatever ideas you have, they'll be very supportive of you. And this is the thing that will allow you to move forward with that Two of Spring. The Two of Spring implies also some kind of decision that needs to be made at a crossroads in your life. So you have to make a choice. There you can see with that Two of Swords, some kind of decision uh, that you have to make. And make it on a very logical basis as well. Then you've got the Nine of Spring, which says, Protect the fruits of your labors. Prepare for po possible challenges that lie ahead. Now, with the Nine of Swords, you've gone through a lot of dif difficulties. You've got, you know, almost one last hurdle to go through, and you need to hang in there. So this is about having resilience, hanging in there, and, uh, you know, things will start changing for the better. And then again, you've got the Four of Winter, and this is the final card over here. So the two final cards are the Four of Winter or the Four of Swords, which says, set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation and a need for more sleep or meditation. So both these cards... These uh, girls are tired and they need to have some sleep. So it looks like you have been cutting your sleep or you are very exhausted and uh, you need to actually take a break and go and get some rest, get a holiday, 
uh, and get some more sleep. Uh, you know, maybe take a whole weekend and sleep it out, really. But you do need to get some rest uh, and before you start making some big decisions. Because the stress is not allowing you to make, uh, you know, uh, impartial decisions. It's not allowing you to make good decisions right now. So you need to take some time out of this particular uh, scenario and uh, see things from a very different perspective and then make whatever decision you have to make or make your plans after that. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.